For all your food updates, go to jadalauches.com and don't forget to hit the bell at the bottom to be alerted for all video updates. Everybody, it's your girl Jersey, and today we're going to be doing a no guilt version of Taco Bell's Naked Chicken Chalupa. I had this thing not even two weeks ago, and I was like, there's no reason why we need to deep fry this and be like eating this like 404 something calorie thing when I can make it just as crunchy and no guilt and delicious and know exactly what's in it and it's all real chicken meat and you won't believe that this took one chicken breast right here one serving to make so let's talk about what's in this bowl we have some panko breadcrumbs egg white paprika oregano parsley cumin coriander salt pepper a little bit of dry mustard and um garlic powder see the gang's all here okay and then we're just gonna mix this all together okay and after we mix it all together because y'all know how i feel about the mixage got some gloves <laughs> yeah because i don't like getting my hands dirty so we just mix it all together and then we're gonna take this taco mold that i found on amazon i'll leave that in the description box below and i'm gonna mold the meat around the taco mold and what i did was put some parchment paper there so, um, and sprayed a little cooking spray on it so it wouldn't stick. Now this is the part that's so important. We have to put it in the freezer so it can firm up and get like this. Make sure that it's hard before you go to this step, which is the dredging. So we're gonna use some flour and dredge both sides. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, okay? At this point, I almost gave up because they were falling apart and I was like, this is some bullshit. I'm not doing this. It's going to fail. I'm not going to do it. But then my husband was like, no, you're going to do it. It's going to be amazing. Come on. Come on, Jersey. You got it. And I was like, right. I'm just going to mold this back together and put it in the freezer for more time. So that's what I did. Now, as y'all can see, you got to be real delicate with it. You don't want to be rough housing with these taco, chicken taco shell things, okay? And then we're going to put some panko breadcrumbs. Now, I didn't and put any um, oil in here but I think if I was to do this again I would definitely put um, a little bit of oil in here so it can get even more brown um, during the baking process so just make sure that you coat everything in these panko breadcrumbs because that's what's gonna make it crunchy to make it seem like you fried it when you didn't <laughs> oh yeah girl it's gonna be delicious then put it back in the freezer for about 15 minutes to make sure that it firms up completely and everything in here and then you get this booyah Mm, crunchy tacos now I know Taco Bell puts an avocado uh, ranch I made that homemade I could tell you guys on the blog post how to do that and then there's some pico de gallo in there a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese um, and some sour cream and some cilantro with some limes on the side girl and you got it this is it don't be going to Taco Bell eating that mystery meat or whatever they saying is in there you could just do it just like this anyway i'll see you guys next tuesday i love you for watching and be the best possible version of yourself and try this if you are this is a pain in the ass though but try it and let me know how it comes out hashtag me jadalosh is on instagram bye for all your food updates go to jadalosh's.com and don't forget to hit the bell at the bottom to be alerted for all video updates